Global Safety Council presents Personal Protective Equipment and Decontamination Procedures. Working around hazardous materials is a lot like war. You have to be on the offensive to prevent dangerous chemicals from escaping into the environment. You are also on the defensive, keeping yourself safe from contamination and exposure. And as in every other kind of war, you make use of defensive weapons. Now, in ancient times, the primary defensive weapons were shields. In modern warfare, soldiers use radar and surface-to-air missiles to knock out incoming threats. In the war that you fight, personal protective equipment and decontamination procedures are the weapons that will help you carry the day. So, let's be clear about what these terms mean. Personal protective equipment, PPE for short, is a broad category. It covers protective clothing, or CPC as it's often called, respirators, and more common items such as hard hats, face shields, and work boots. You wear this equipment to protect yourself from things that can hurt you, such as vapors that could burn your skin, gases that might make you choke, and falling or protruding objects. Decontamination procedures, decon for short, deal with contaminants that might have accumulated on your protective clothing or your equipment. If these contaminants are not taken care of, they can transfer to you or even your co-workers. The goal of decontamination procedures is to remove these unwanted substances or make them harmless before they can affect anyone. To stay healthy on the job, you need both PPE and decon procedures, but neither one will keep you safe if it is not part of a larger safety system.